So um, I feel like the energy that you embody for this week in general is um, you're going to be put in a position where you are playing um, cheerleader to another person. So I feel like this is uh, coming on as a lot of giving a lot of emotional support, a lot of love, a lot of encouragement, and also a lot of this playful energy where you are um, either having a good time with another person or inspiring somebody to pursue their creative gifts um, and also channeling as well, doing some leisure activities that in, in, involves developing, further developing your, your own creative gifts or encouraging that in another person. In terms of the love department, I feel like there might be a partner that is not feeling at their best, okay? So emotionally, um, spiritually, physically, they might not be completely their old self. And I do see uh, an emotional swing with your relationship partner, an emotional up and down. And they might, you know, be hormonal. They might also be just feeling uncomfortable in their own skin. They might be dealing with physical aches and pains. Um, if you have younger children, they might be dealing with, you know, teething issues like uh, aches and pains in their joints as they're growing. Or even, um, um, I I'm getting like fevers and, 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 and things like that, okay? And so you're playing the caretaker, you're playing the cheerleader, you're playing the person that is going to, you know, tell someone, oh, everything's going to be okay. Uh, we don't have to, you know, do this right now. We can do it another time. So I, I feel like you're giving somebody a lot of emotional support. There's a lot of passion um, coming into this spread. And I feel like your energy is matching your partner where you're giving them that emotional support. You're stepping up when they're feeling down. And I feel like as a result of it, it's going to bring about a lot of healing in the relationship. It's also really going to help establish that emotional bond and trust and almost admiration between you and another person. So let me just talk about the reading. Um, the first card I have out here is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is the energy that you embody. This is a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of um, spontaneity, and this uh, really strong sense of like um, expansiveness and adventure that you bring to the table. So your partner sees you as someone who's spontaneous, someone who's fun, someone who can, you know, make a situation that seems very dire or very grim. Um, you can inject humor in it, you can find humor in it, and you can, you know, minimize the problem not to, you know, make it go away, but you can see it for what it is, and you can, you know, problem solve and troubleshoot and not make mountains out of molehills. Um, and that's going to alleviate a lot of stress from the person that you're dealing with, okay? The Ace of Wands usually indicates um, somebody who's very fit. They're very much into fitness. They care about the way that they look. They want to have good health and vitality. And so you embody the energy of someone who gets things done, who's very proactive, who has a boundless amount of energy, an abundance amount of energy, and they're goal-oriented and career-focused and, you know, just very, very much on top of their game. And they take care of things and they don't, you know, dilly-dally and let life pass them by. So this is in uh, opposition to the a lot of the energies I was picking up for the past few months. So I feel like you're turning over a new leaf and changing the ways in which you're approaching life and you know you're taking a more of a proactive stance and this is pretty much about grabbing life by the horns if there is a problem let's fix it let's not just beat around the bush let's approach things in a more direct manner so you're very very proactive about getting to the root of problems and I feel like you're doing so in a very compassionate but playful manner the way in which your partner this is the person that you're dealing with. We have the Six of Wands. And um, the message that I'm getting from this card is like, this is somebody who's always going to jump through hoops to be with you, to get you to, to get to where you are. If you're at a distance from your partner, they're traveling to see you. If you have, um, you know, 
uh, problems, your partner is always going to be there to make sure that you're okay. So you have a lot of love and, and admiration and support coming through from your partner. Um, on top of that, the traditional meaning of the Six of Wands is you're dealing with a partner that is very, very, um, they're an important player in their field of work, in their profession. There is somebody that is also very, very proactive. They get things done. They get things moving. They are someone who is a leader in their own right. They have a huge following. They're bold and brave and courageous. And a lot of people trust them, trust their opinion, trust their guidance, trust their counsel, trust their judgment. So you're dealing with another person that is inspiring a lot of passion within you. They inspire you to achieve more and they inspire you to, you know, reach for, um, it's like, being with them makes you feel like you can conquer and you can overcome obstacles. Being with them inspires you to be a better person so that you can give them more so that the two of you can grow together spiritually as a couple. If this is somebody that you are um, in a relationship with, I feel like you're both trying to expand either a family unit, a dwelling, expand your wealth, expand your knowledge even, or even expanding, you know, your your consciousness with each other, ex exploring each other, developing an emotional relationship, but also injecting fun and passion and chemistry into that. I see a lot of outdoorsy energy, so you might be, you know, doing a lot of traveling, a lot of hiking, a lot of sightseeing, a lot of just expansive activities with your partner, uh, even sporting events and things like that. And I feel like your partner, uh, in their own right, they're very athletic. They're very much into fitness and, and you know, getting um, themselves motivated, okay? If you are dealing with a fire sign in particular, I feel like this energy embodies the fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that will jump through hoops, many, many hoops to be with you. They see you as somebody, it's like they're, you're right in their, their line of, um, you're right in the crosshairs. They're gunning for you and they're going to make their feelings very known. So if this is somebody you're newly dating, because I, it could be, you know, newly dating, ace of wands and six of wands, um, you have a partner that is very successful and you have some, a love interest that's very successful. And I feel like they're coming towards you and there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of travel and movement in the direction of the relationship. On the other hand, we have another person that's, um, you could potentially be dealing with as well. I have here the Eight of Swords. And this is um, what I mentioned before, where a partner is feeling physically, me mentally, or emotionally kind of down, okay? They feel a little bit stuck. They feel a little bit like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been feeling fatigued. I've been feeling pain. I've been feeling aches. I'm feeling under the weather. And I also feel like you're going to give them that a really soft maternal touch to nurse them back to health, to reassure them that everything is okay, to, you know, um, calm their nerves and to really take care of them and nurture them. The moon indicates our emotional needs, the things that we need from a relationship partner in order to make us feel good. And you have a, a partner here, could potentially be a Pisces or an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra somebody that might not be very in tune with their emotions or they are so independent that it's hard for them to feel vulnerable and it's hard for them to ask for help and it's hard for them to you know um sit back and let other people take care of them and so i feel like you know this is somebody that's not comfortable with these roles but they don't really have a choice because for whatever reason they're feeling under the weather and so you're going to be there nurturing nursing them back to health as well as um providing you know playing that cheerleader and providing a lot of love and support and I, I feel even massages, you know, doing things that make them feel good, lighting candles, bringing flowers and things like that. And this is the bringing flowers, bringing gifts, reassurance, taking care of another person here. We have the page of pentacles. And this is sort of like treating somebody with kitty gloves. And, you know, um, they're like the apple of your eyes. You're going to be um, nursing them, taking care of them, treasuring them. And I feel like that that whole imagery in the, the sentence is 
treating somebody with kitty gloves just so that they're delicate, just so that you don't hurt them, just so that, you know, they can be nursed back to health and they can also find their solid footing, okay? For singles out there, I do see huge fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, as well as, you know, gifts and dates that you're going to be going on and possibly nightly events, okay? For those dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or even in... Um, uh, a Pisces, I feel like there's going to be, I, I see like you stepping up, moving in their direction and doing things for them. In other areas of your life, I see like many of you are trying to manifest some type of a self-employment here. And we have the moon as a repeat card from this deck and also the right away deck. Um, the Nine of Pentacles indicates usually self-employment, working for yourself, being able to dictate your own hours, and trying to manifest that leisure time between the, the, the for for yourself so that you can, you know, enjoy your life and not just be stuck with the daily grind of work and school and home and, and things like that. So I feel like for many of you, ideas are, are kind of brewing all, o all around you. It's like bubbling up, coming up to the surface. Um, hearing somebody's success story with this venture, hearing that, you know, a cousin of so-and-so of a family member or a classmate or an in-law is doing such and such with his or her own company. So I see a lot of ideas just kind of um, bubbling around you when it pertains to self-employment, when it pertains to, you know, what business can I invest in? So I feel like your mind is very, very much business oriented. What can I do to better my life? What can I do to achieve that financial stability? And I also feel as well psychic messages. The moon is greatly about enhancing our psychic abilities, being able to see a situation clearly, but also trusting our intuition and relying on our intuition to kind of lead the way. So I definitely feel many of you are reading up, like um, doing like self-help books, reading up on a specific, you know, business entrepreneur and to see how they, where they started, how they um, develop their product. And also I feel many of you are in a, some type of an academic environment here with the Three of Pentacles where you're learning a new craft you're trying to get a firm grip on something. Whatever was fuzzy and hazy and f seemed like very, very dif difficult to get off the ground, I feel like you're getting some counsel, some knowledge, some expertise, some training in order to, you know, start to make sense of it and to start making your dreams of business ownership, starting a business, being an entrepreneur, being self-employed, to make it a reality. Um, the Three of Pentacles also indicates as well people coming to you to consult with you. So for whatever reason, I see a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm seeing assignments, opportunities to collaborate with people from different walks of life, opportunities as well to help people and to um, kind of like share best practices with people and sometimes uh, doing group work with, with other people. The group work idea might seem kind of like, you know, up your alley, but I feel like the people that you're dealing with, they're a little bit, they're not taking things as seriously as you are. You might be dealing with younger energies, younger people that are just like um, coasting. So you end up doing all the work and then they end up, you know, um, reaping the benefits of it. So you, you want to be a little bit careful about that. And if somebody's not really pulling their weight, I feel like it's important to, you know, um, get that message out, you know, because I feel like somebody's coasting, they, they're, they're sweet. And, you know, in the past they might've gotten away with it just by batting their eyelashes or just, um, by being their cute self. But I feel like in this environment where everyone is very serious, they're the only one that's not pulling their weight. Everyone is aware of it. And I definitely feel like you're interacting with younger energies that might not have a lot of things to uh, add to value to or to come to the table with and as a result of that that I feel like you're venturing out and trying to manifest things on your own um, if you have been waiting on other people to get their things together so that you can start a business venture with them if you're hoping for an alliance or a partnership or financiers I feel as if you're going to be turning your back and you're going to be looking for alternative sources of income 
like another financier or banking institution or even turning your back on it and going about it on your own okay so the energy for this month is very proactive and it's always like um i, I feel like it's almost like getting things started i'm not waiting around on anybody i'm gonna move on and get things started for myself and this is a really good energy I'd like to see for you guys, uh, Cancers. So I hope the reading is helpful for you. 